Hi, I'm Tanisha and you're watching this video with JustTutors.com. Today we'll be learning about statistics. And in this video, we'll be learning about finding mean by the help of step deviation method. So before we move on to the topic for today, let us try some warm questions first. But if you want to try the questions by yourself, you can pause the video and match your answers later. Let's start with question number one that says solve the following. That is 231.3 add 45. So the answer for this would be 276.3. Let's go to B part that says 34.5 divided by 5. The answer would be 6.9. Let's go to question number 2 that says write the formula for finding mean through assumed mean method. So that would be x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi di divide by sigma fi where a is the assumed mean and di is equal to xi minus assumed mean. Let's go to question number 3 that says why do you think we have more than one method for finding mean? Well that can be for cutting out the calculations involving integers and decimal numbers. It reduces the risk of calculation errors. So pat your back if you've got all the answers absolutely correct. Now let's move on to the topic for today. So we'll be learning about step deviation method today. It is just an extension of assumed mean method. So to understand this one, it is very necessary that we are okay with the assumed mean method. We'll try to understand this with the help of an example. So the question says, look at the following table and find the mean by assumed mean method. The table says 10 to 25 to 25 to 43 and so on. So the first step is that in the as that in the direct and assumed mean method first of all we need to find the mid values which are the xi's for the further question so xi's are the class marks that can be found out by adding the upper limit to the lower limit and dividing it by 2 so that's going to be 17.5 13.5 point 32.5 47.5 67.5 and 92.5 after securing the xi's, the next step is to find the di. Remember that di can be found out with the help of an assumed mean. So again, we are taking 47.5 as an assumed mean. Remember, always assumed mean is chosen from the xi column and you can choose any of the values from this column. For now, for this question, we have chosen 47.5. Now we'll be finding di which is equal to xi's minus assumed mean. That's going to be minus 30, minus 15, 0, 15, 30 and 45. So the next step is to finding the ui's which are di divided by 15. Oh, That's a little typing error there that has to be a 15. So the ui is found out by dividing the di column by 15 which is the class width. So 15 is not just a random number we always divide the di's by the class width. So 10 to 25 shows us that the class width is 15. Hence th minus 30 divided by 15 is minus 2. Minus 15 divided by 15 is minus 1. 0 divided by 15 is 0. 15 divided by 15 is 1. 30 divided by 15 is 2 and 45 divided by 15 is 3. So we have found out ui as well. Now the next step is to find out fi ui. Remember that number of students was our fi and we are multiplying that with this ui column and finding fi ui for us. So 2 times minus 4, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, 7 times 0 is 0. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18. Now we need to find the total of FIUI which is 29 in this case. And now of course we have a formula to find out the mean through step deviation method which is x bar is equal to a plus sigma FIUI divided by sigma FI times by h where h is the class width and a is the assumed mean. So we can find out all the values with the help of the table that we have just found out. So a is 47.5, sigma fi ui is 29, sigma fi is 30 and h which is class width is 15. So we can put all the values right here in the formula and we can work out that 62 is the mean of the required table. Now we have got one more practice question for you. So you can pause the video and try this question by yourself but do not forget to match your answer right here. Thank you for watching the video. For more, please log on to justutors.com.